little while ago, I heard about something called a proprioceptive wrist strap, which is something that you could use to basically give yourself extra human senses. Just sort of hack something together really quickly and, and see if this theory even works. I think I heard about this where a medical device company was trying to give doctors the sense of their robotic implements. Are you ready for this? These are super loud. Wow, those are loud. I had forgotten how loud those were. My ears are ringing now. Let's take it apart. Look at that. Piezo disc. Hi guys. Sorry for the interruption, it's Jake from the future here, my haircut. So I'm editing the video right now and I realized that I don't have a part where I explain actually what we're doing today, which is dumb. So I'm gonna do that right now. I need both hands. This thing that gives you extra human senses is basically, it's actually really simple. It's two piezo discs pressed against your skin like this. And the whole idea that I, where I heard about this was you would play two frequencies through them and one would have a beat frequency. So it would be like 25 kilohertz and 25.1 kilohertz. And then you'd have like a one kilohertz beat frequency. The, the effect that we're looking for in today's uh, experiment is that um, if you played a beat frequency between the two discs, that instead of feeling like you had two discs pressed into your skin, it actually felt like there was one disc pressed in the center of your skin, and as you changed what the beat frequency was, it would move up and down along your arm. So today we're pressing two piezo discs into my skin, and we're going to play a beat frequency between them. Our experiment is a success if instead of feeling two discs, I start to feel one all of a sudden, and I can control that with the frequency. If, however, I still feel two piezo discs, then it doesn't count. And maybe this phenomena that I was thinking about, I had heard somewhere, doesn't actually exist, and I was just misremembering or something like that. That's the plan. Let's get back to the video. Sorry for the interruption. What we really care about is this right here. This black blob is an auto transformer. And we can drive this directly with an Arduino, it's no problem. Which means this project just became way more feasible. This is a bowl from the dining hall. I'm scuffing it right now because I don't have flux to be able to make it bond very easily. Hey, look at that. Just like so. So the last time I was soldering some piezo discs with you guys, somebody mentioned that I was holding my soldering iron on the piezo element for too long and it, the heat was destroying part of the crystal structure. Now all we need to do is we need to hook up the auto transformer. I just broke it. So these are all soldered up now, they're looking good. Okay, so the circuit overall is really simple. We just have the, the piezo discs here being driven by the auto transformer here. The auto transformer pins are basically outputted, so there, there's three pins. The one in the center, the one that has this uh, gray tab on it right here, is the control pin, and we just hook that directly to a, to a tone pin on the Teensy, give it five volts, same thing on this guy, and then this right here is just two potentiometers that you can use, which are two, are two little knobs here that let us control what frequencies we're set at, because I don't really know what frequencies will work with this, and I have no idea if this works, so there's probably gonna need to be some tuning what frequencies we're using and, and how different the two frequencies should be on, on our wrist. So this gives us that control. All right, this is, this is the schematic. Here's our built circuit. Let's program it and then we'll strap it to our wrists. Let's go. GitHub is linked in the description. All right, our device is playing tones now. 
So now it's time for our experiment. Now remember, our scientific hypothesis here is that playing two different tones through the skin will, instead of making it feel like you have two things buzzing on your skin, will instead resolve to a single ghost node that you'll feel. And it'll feel as the tones change, like this little point will move along your skin. Um, that's our hypothesis. I don't think I feel anything. What if I press really hard? So, so unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to call it here. I really can't feel the vibration of the piezo discs in my forearm. I can hardly feel it in my fingers. When I can't hear the tone, it's much easier to feel it with my uh, fingertips here. It really doesn't work that well. You, you can't feel uh, piezo vibrations on your on your wrist like this it, they just don't move enough well uh, I think in the future it might make sense to try it with solenoids because I think those might you might be able to get those to move fast enough that you could feel it but they'd also have enough travel that you, you'd actually feel something and besides the point here is to just have some fun and build stuff in the lab which we definitely succeeded with even though our theory might not have quite held out anyways thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time